Who is the better leader, the person who's a team player and uses her vote to advance the party's agenda, or the person who stands his ground and votes independently, but is sometimes on the outside of the party leadership's decision? That's the first issue we're tackling in our series on the Senate District 25 primary between Representative Ellen Bogdanoff and Carl Domino. You know, sometimes you don't always get your way, so you end up sticking with the team. Uh, if there's a, an issue that you feel is so strongly about that you have to walk away, then you just simply have to resign and, and stand on the outside, similar to you know what, what my opponent has done over the years, and, and that is simply being on the outside. Well, Ellen uh, admits freely that sometimes she votes the way she votes because she wants to be part of leadership. She wants a seat at the table. Carl Domino and Ellen Bogdanoff have several years in the House of Representatives and both have been in leadership positions. But in an unusual move for a Senate president designee, Senator Mike Herodopoulos and the Republican leadership have picked a side in this primary. I think it's a disgrace to the party when future so-called leaders choose in primaries among good, solid Republicans. I'm, I'm flattered and honored that they did it. Uh, they like my style. They know that I'm going to work hard uh, and that I'm going to be, um, you know, a good member that's going to, you know, kind of move the agenda along. If it's so important to get the, the uh, approval of so-called leadership, that you will cast your vote against your conscience and against the interest of your constituents, then you shouldn't be an, an elected official. Last year, Bogdanoff voted with the party leadership to lift a ban on oil drilling. Well, from Ellen's point of view, the fact that she would be uh, quoted in the Palm Beach Post saying that she voted for uh, to, uh, to lift the ban on oil drilling because uh, she wanted to have a, a seat at the table. What's the value of the seat at the table if you're not representing the people uh, that uh, have elected you? There may come a day when there's that issue uh, that is, I feel so strongly about to, it, that is part of my core principles that I simply can't go along. Uh, and if that day comes, um, that's when I hand in my resignation and say, thank you, but I, I, can't, I can't do this anymore. So you're saying uh, gambling and the uh, oil drilling, the ban lifting the ban on oil drilling haven't been big issues for you? Well, understand that my position on oil drilling has been the same all along. Bogdanoff argues voters and the Republican leadership had to rethink their position after the Deepwater Horizon disaster. We had probably 60 to 70 percent of the constituents who wanted us to lift the oil oil drilling ban. Um, that all changed. Even though Domino has sometimes stood on the fringe of his party, he's still been able to accomplish some important work particularly for homeowners with his portability bill. So the answer to the question of who's a better leader depends on what you value more, someone who can play the game and gain more party influence, or someone who always votes his conscience, even if it means being on the outside. But the fact of the matter is it's your job not to re represent yourself or, or the leadership of the party, is to represent your citizens. And I think sometimes it's about um, personality and performance and not necessarily about which button you push. Lane Wright, Sunshine State News.